the drama of Starbirth unveils itself all around us in our own Milky Way, but stars did not always form in the way we see them today. A unique and tantalising object was recently found and studied with an array of major X-ray, optical and infrared telescopes, including the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope and the Keck telescopes. The mysterious arc of light found behind a distant cluster of galaxies in the northern constellation of Lynx has turned out to be the biggest, brightest and hottest star forming region ever seen in space. Well, one Friday afternoon I was sitting in the office and a colleague walked in waving a, a sheet of paper. It turned out that this uh, paper contained a spectrum of a mysterious arc in the Lynx cluster and uh, uh, nobody had been passed around the members of the team and uh, nobody could identify what it was and nobody had any, any idea how far away it was. An unidentified spectrum is a real and rare challenge to an observational astronomer. Well, we thought we'd have the spectrum cracked by the weekend, but uh, little did we realise that uh, this was going to lead us on a two-year voyage of discovery. The so-called Lynx arc is one million times brighter than the well-known Orion Nebula, a nearby prototypical star birth region visible in small telescopes. The newly identified megastar cluster contains a million blue-white stars that are twice as hot as similar stars in our Milky Way galaxy. As far as we can tell, this object is unique. Now, uh, there's been a lot of speculation about what these early star formation regions would look like, and indeed people have made uh, theoretical models of them. Uh, but the point is, they would only exist in this, in this really bright phase for essentially the blink of an eye on a cosmic time scale. So we're very unlikely to see them in this, in this bright phase. The arc is the stretched and magnified image of the megastar forming region, about 12 billion light years away, far beyond the galaxy cluster. This means that the remote source existed when the universe was less than 2 billion years old. The arc only became visible thanks to the gravitational telescope formed by the cluster of galaxies. The huge mass hidden in the cluster magnifies and bends the light from the Lynx arc behind it. Well, we compared it with things like quasars, uh, active galaxies. Uh, we thought it was probably some exotic new kind of object. It was only after some thought and uh, theoretical modelling that we realised that it was uh, most closely related to these star-forming H2 regions that we know about locally and indeed you can see through, through small telescopes. It's a stupendous Orion Nebula. and The Orion Nebula contains about four really bright stars that power it. Uh, this nebula contained, uh, we estimated, around a million uh, really bright stars. So many, many times brighter than the Orion Nebula. The desire to find and study the first luminous objects in the universe is the main scientific drive behind the construction of the NASA ESA CSA James Webb Space Telescope, scheduled for launch in 2011. <laughs> 